Hello traders, let's better explain how auto recovery hedging as per the advisor calculates or can be instructed to calculate the lot size uh, based on the relationship between the stop loss or the recovery zone and the take profit versus the lot size multiplier and also how it can choose the hedging method based on baskets of trades versus single, single trades or how can it calculate the lot size again based on the hedging method and um, let's also talk about the hedging type, which is based on a fixed recovery zone. Uh, this being basically the auto recovery, yeah? and also uh, versus the trading signals, which is the implementation of the auto recovery expert advisor in other expert advisor that we have on the robotfx.org website, such as uh, the fluid or the uh, non lag moving average expert advisor or the grid EA, and so on. Now let's go to our presentation now, and first of all. Let's see how the expert advisor calculates the lot size based on the stop loss um, and take profit ratio. So first of all, if you want, this is for more mathematical traders. Uh, if you don't want to make use of this, simply set the use hedge multiplier to true and use the hedging multiplier uh, underneath. However, if you want to use the ratio between the stop loss and the take profit, or the recovery zone of the take profit, the, the same thing in our case. Then do mind that if these are equal, let's say 50 pips uh, both, then the lot size will be double, the hedging lot size will be double. If the stop loss is smaller than the take profit, the lot size will decrease and opposite it will increase. Now let's see it on the chart first. I'm uh, obviously showing you on a demo account. So set the hedging uh, multiplier to false. <clears throat> so we don't make use of the multiplier below. Uh, having the recovery zone and take profit equal means that the expert advisor will uh, place a hedging order double the size as we see in this, uh, in my example, what just happened right now. The distance is 50 pips, the recovery zone. Now if I increase the lot size of the, uh, sorry, if I increase the take profit, setting to 100 pips or decrease the uh, recovery zone, then the hedging loss size will decrease. It is not double anymore, it is 0 0.6 now. And opposite will happen if I increase the recovery zone and or decrease the take profit. You notice how I close uh, the open trade and the expert advisor closes the, <coughs> sorry, deletes the pending orders, the hedging order. This is normal behavior. So the hedging lot size increased with these settings. And as I uh, have previously said, if you don't want to make use of this, if it's confusing for you or simply don't, it's not your trading style, just use the multiplier as a, um, to calculate the hedging lot size. Simply enable use hedge multiplier set it to true. And in this case, we don't need to use the ratio anymore. And the expert advisor with the setting that I have chosen will double the lot size of the hedging order. And if I want to triple it, obviously I will set the hedge multiplier to three and the hedging order will be 1.2 lot size depending by the buy stop and this is about uh, calculating the lot size and uh, next uh, <clears throat> next i'm going to try to explain how to hedge the entire baskets of trades and Please take note of the settings right here. We use hedge multiplier true. The hedge multiplier is it's, uh, two. So it doubles and the hedge last order lot size is set to false. That means having the hedge last order lot size set to false means that the expert advisor will calculate the lot size so that uh, it will not be, it will, so that all the orders of one type will be um double all the orders of the opposite time so in this example i have started to sell um with uh, 0 0.1 lot size so i have opened this sale unfortunately let's say that the price went against me and it triggered the hedging lot size the hedging lot size uh, the hedging order was placed with 0 0.2 lot size 
because it is double and at this point we have only one cell so double 0 0.1 is 0 0.2 and then the price reversed and it went in the, my favor and in this case uh, the hedging uh, order was 0 0.3 and that is because uh, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 and this is what I refer to as basket 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 it's double the size of the opposite orders and at this point I have only one opposite order which is 0 0.2 uh, right here and again if the price bounces a few times so again this uh, thing will happen and the expert advisor will place this hedging uh, order of 0 0.6 last size and that is because 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 uh, makes 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 it's double as the multiplier is saying right here it's double the size of um, the opposite trades the basket of opposite trades the cells which is 0 0.4 and so on and that means that this order if you haven't guessed it already um, I should tell you that this order is 1.8 uh, I don't know why this writing is so small, but it's 1.4. Am I right or am I wrong? 1.4 plus uh, 0 0.4 from before, it's 1.8. And 1.8 is not double, it's more than double from 0 0.8. So it's 1.2. 1.2 plus 1.4 is 1.6, which is double than uh, both um, both buys above 0 0.8. Well, I know it's a little hard to understand, but I hope that I've done a better job now than in the previous uh, in the main video. So this is how uh, what I refer to uh, when I say baskets of trades, opposite trades, and this is one option, the export advisor, and this is. The main, um, well, the, the main option the expert advisor was designed that its main purpose was to hedge uh, baskets of trades uh, rather than um, single trades. However, uh, the expert advisor can be instructed to hedge, which is to multiply the lot size of um, the last order only. Um, I refer to this as hedge the um, hedge opposite single orders and for that we have to enable the hedge last order lot size and set it to true uh, always have the this has nothing to do with this hedging uh, with the hedging type but always have prevent double pending order set to true um, it will increase com comfortability with some um, brokers so um, regarding the hedge last order lot size that means that with these settings that you see right here, that means that the expert advisor will hedge only, will increase only the, the lot size based on the uh, last order. So if the first order is again 0 0.1, then the hedging buy will be 0 0.2. And if this uh, pending order of 0 0.2 buy stop will be triggered, then the expert advisor will place a pending sale of 0 0.4 double the lot size of the previous order um, and then again it will happen with 0 0.8 the buy and then again with the sale the sale will be 1.6 and careful to make use uh, with this uh, occasion i'm going to say careful to make use of the maximum orders and choose a decent multiplier don't let the expert advisor open too many um, hedging orders because it can be dangerous and this is how the expert advisor calculates the hedging um, based on the last order last size next <clears throat> we have uh, i have explained this in the main video and this is how the expert advisor auto recovery actually works uh, by hedging a fixed recovery zone this is within the expert advisor settings uh, it is called recovery zone, obviously. Uh, however, you will find the same algorithm as I have said in uh, other expert advisors such as non lagma, non lag moving average expert advisor. And if you allow me to open the 
uh, strategy tester. I'm going to show you very fast what I mean. So the non-lag expert advisor uses the same algorithm when it refers to hedging. And you will also find uh, that the fluid expert advisor is similar regarding the settings. You will also find stop loss recovery zone may have the same input. In this case, uh, 70. And you will find the hedging settings right here. And by choosing the hedge zone, hedge with the recovery zone, that means basically uh, it's doing it's hedging the same as the auto recovery export advisor. And by doing so, it will place an opposite trade at the uh, recovery zone or stop loss distance that was set within the export advisor. So, for example, the, the non lag moving average, um, non lag moving average EA place this cell right here because we are trading with the trend, right? It's a trend trader. Place the cell right here and a buy stop at uh, 50 or how, 70 pips away. Unfortunately, the trend changes. The buy stop is three times uh, the lot size, 0 0.3. The multiplier was uh, three, right? Unfortunately, the trend changes. This is a, a non-profit trade. However, the, um, the wins, the profits from the buy, which is now a positive trade, overcome the losses from the, um, from the losing sell. And at that point, the expert advisor closes both trades at uh, break even take profit. And this is how we make the losers into um, winners. And this is one option. And the second option, um, it's not the recovery zone, it's to hedge with the trend. As I have said, it, uh, the non lag moving average is a trend trader. The fluid, again, it was designed as a trend trader. Um, so the next option is to hedge with the trend. And that means that the expert advisor will place the hedging order um, whenever the trend will change and also whenever there is a um, valid signal. So for that to happen, we will go to the trading expert advisor and change the settings from the hedge method from hedge zone into hedge fluid or hedge with the trend as explained right here we kept the definition of hedge fluid because uh, non-lag moving average it's also a trend trader and also very similar to the fluid in many ways um, and the price it's uh, it's always fluid it goes up and down creating those waves high high slow lows and so on so by setting the hedge method to hedge fluid then the expert advisor will place the first order normally normally means when there is a trading signal as it happened right now um, i'm in downtrend uh, the non like when we average change the color from white into black however it didn't automatically place the uh, pending buy. Instead, <clears throat> it waited for the price to uh, it waited for the, the the price to create a new trend, which just happened right here. And then it opened this buy right here. It placed this buy right here again, uh, following the multiplier settings, the hedging multiplier three times bigger than the sell. And basically, the same thing, uh, more or less, the same thing happened. Both trade closed. Um, both of the uh, both of them um, didn't bring any losses. In fact, they brought a little bit of profit. Uh, the idea was to close both of them as soon as their profit reaches the uh, break-even profit or close, because um, as I have said uh, previously as well, the profits from the winning buy overcome and um, the losses from the sell. So basically, we didn't lose anything, and this is that's why hedging it's uh, it's recommended, uh, or it is the best when this thing happens when you, uh, when you are trading with the trend and the trend changes. Otherwise, if I have used a stop loss, obviously the, the, this um, would have been a losing trade. The stop loss would have been hit, and I would have lost money. But in this case, uh, I didn't lose basically anything so i hope this uh, made things more clearer <clears throat> and uh, i hope I've, I've made a better job explaining how the auto recovery 
and uh, our, the, our other expert advisor calculate and are hedging the trades, your trades. And uh, by that, I'm also hoping that <clears throat> you'll find the right setting for you to uh, recover losses and to prevent losses when trading Forex. And by that, I'm going to end with um, download this expert advisor if you want to try it because it is free to download and try it on your demo account and tell us what you think. Thank you for watching and good luck trading.